I've been painting murals for the last 12 years, mostly out of the San Francisco Bay Area. I moved here three years ago, just over three years ago. So this is my first large-scale project in Durham. I've been nice. working with schools, doing portable projects and smaller murals in schools. I work for an organization called Proceed Eyes Muralists, which is a 40-year-old mural arts organization, community wow. mural organization. This is the history of the civil rights movement specific to Durham. So um, everyone you see on here was influential to how things happened during the civil rights movement here. But it's sort of a long history. Some of the history goes back into the 40s. Um, some of these sort of founding business and financial leaders are from a much earlier time, but they really influenced how things happened here. And everyone on the wall um, worked in Durham with the exception of Martin Luther King, who obviously everybody knows, but he actually spent a lot of time here. Did his fill up the jail speech at White Rock Baptist Church. And then Julian Abel um, was the architect of Duke Chapel. So he was not from Durham. He's an African-American architect from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But um, at the time that he designed the chapel, um, he wasn't acknowledged for his work on the chapel because he was black. And so to put Duke Chapel in and to acknowledge Duke's participation in the movement, we also wanted project's been pretty involved beyond just creating the mural. I had 30 community members who started it with me. So the youngest was about 13 at the time, and the oldest was 65. So it was a big cross-section, 15 youth and 15 adults. And we did a series of lectures at Haytai Heritage Center. So we had a um, local scholar, Dr. Benjamin Speller, who was kind of leading the education team for the project. And then we had a lot of people come out um, historians and veteran civil rights activists and people so we could, you know, teach the history first.